So about three years ago, my family and I went on a journey. We went on the journey of cutting the cable TV cord from our home. We decided we were going to go with an internet-based solution, a streaming solution rather, if you wanna call it that, like YouTube TV, Hulu TV, Sling TV, or one of the others because we were paying too much for cable TV and internet. We'd still have to get our internet from our cable provider, but we could save some money, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks a month by going with a different package. And so, you know, I went through that and I actually did a video on the different services I tried and I'll put that card up in the link or excuse me, up in the card up above and you can check that out. But we decided to go with Hulu TV. And I'm here today to say that I'm going to be quitting Hulu after three years. Now, some of you may say, why are you quitting Hulu? Basically, it comes down to why we left the cable company, price. So like I said, three years ago when we started the service, I think it was like right around December of 2017, we were paying $40 a month for Hulu with live TV and no ads, or at least as close as you get to no ads on Hulu. And we were okay with it. It had all the channels we wanted. It had the cloud DVR and we didn't get local channels like ABC, NBC, Fox, that sort of thing. But that was okay because we really don't watch TV on those channels. So, you know, we were happy. Well, in February of 2019, we got an email and they said that they were going to be increasing the rate from $39.99 to $44.99. And that was an increase of $5. I was okay with that. I'm not really overly concerned about the extra $5. You know, you know these prices may go up a little bit, but you're not overly concerned about $5, or at least I wasn't. Well, then in July of 2019, I decided I wanted a little bit more cloud storage or cloud DVR anyway. So I added another five bucks onto our bill and we were paying $50 a month. So I was like, okay, 50 bucks a month, a little more than we were spending, but not that bad. Well, November of 2019, I got another email from them saying they were going to raise the rates again. On December 18th, 2019, the new rate, my new rate would go from $50 a month to $60 a month. And I was like, man, that's getting expensive because now all of a sudden I was paying $40 two years ago. Now I'm paying $60 for basically the same service. And I was like, whew, I don't know. So I started just thinking about what other services were out there and I thought about YouTube TV. I liked them back then and they got their app out in a few more places. So I was like, you know, I could go to YouTube TV. Well, about a month or two later, YouTube TV raised their prices as well. And so all of a sudden they were comparable with Hulu. I think they were right around 55, 60 bucks a month as well. So I was like, well, there's no reason to switch there. But at the same time, I still wanted to switch. Well, a couple of weeks ago, got another email from Hulu. And this one said that the new price on December 18th, 2020 was going to go from $60 a month to $70 a month. So now after December 18th, I'll be paying, or if I was actually still on the service, I am right now, but I will be, um, it'll just end on this billing cycle. Um, I'll be paying $70 a month for a service that I was paying $40 a month, uh, just three years ago. Uh, just three years ago, uh, just three years ago. Now, I don't know about you, but th this kind of sounds like a cable TV service, how you have a great deal for the first two years and then all of a sudden it kicks up real high, you know? And so I'm like, man, this is this is like cable, you know? So I mentioned to my wife, I was like, hey, we're gonna get rid of Hulu. And she was like, what? But I love Hulu. You know, she had that look on her face and I was like, yeah, but guess what? It's 70 bucks a month. She was like, what? $70 a month? No, we don't need that. We don't watch that much TV. I was like, yeah, there we go. Because she understands that, again, we're paying for cable internet plus the TV package on that. So we're talking, you know, um, like 140 bucks a month for cable, TV, and internet. And this is like, this, is, this isn't worth it. So yeah, Hulu is starting to look more like a cable TV subscription and for a cord cutter like me that makes me very very sad <laughs> because again i left cable tv because it was all these channels and i wasn't watching them and i was paying for channels that i wasn't watching so now i'm almost back at the drawing board i have to figure out which service we're going to use i'm not going to go to youtube tv i mean i guess technically they're probably still ten dollars a month cheaper than hulu but i'm going to be looking at some other options um sling tv i know it's going to be 45 dollars a month or so for sling orange plus sling blue so that's on the table i'm probably going to look at uh, i think it's philo tv fubo tv and a few others 
And I'm also gonna be looking at the new streaming world, which is basically everybody has their own app. You've got HBO Max, Disney Plus, a, um, Apple has their thing going on out there. Obviously Netflix is still out there. Amazon Prime is still out there. So, you know, maybe we'll have a, you know, conglomeration of services, but I mean, I've got to figure out what I'm gonna do for my sports. Um, maybe ESPN has something out there. I guess ESPN and Hulu do have something going on. But anyways, I've got to figure that out because again, it started to look like cable and that's like a worst case scenario. I even said to my wife, maybe we'll have to go back to cable. <laughs> and I never thought I'd say that guys, never thought I'd say that, but here we are, right? So three years later, I've, I've enjoyed Hulu. I mean, there have been some hiccups. Like I was a part of that, I can't remember which Super Bowl it was, but it was maybe two years ago where Hulu had an outage and I missed part of the Super Bowl. Well, I ended up having to watch it another way, but I, you know, scrambling to get that done. So there have been some hiccups, don't get me wrong, but for the most part, it's been a good service and I've liked it, but not good enough to pay probably like with taxes and everything, it's probably gonna be like 75 bucks a month. So again, we're gonna be looking for another service or at least I am and you know, my family follow along just as well um, with all the same things that we had before has all the channels we want, has a cloud DVR, and now I guess you can get local channels because with Sling TV, you can get like their Air TV line and do different things like that um, to get local channels, which is cool, but again, not a big deal for us. And I do have the Amazon Fire TV recast. So anyways, that's another <laughs> debate for here that I'm just, I'm just sad, I guess, because this is like, man, we started out so well just three years ago, and here we are three years later, and the price has gone up from 40 to $70. So yeah. So if you have thoughts about this, if this is happening to you with your service, drop me a, a comment in the comment section below because I'd like to hear your stories as well. Also, if you enjoy this type of content, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thank you for watching. We'll talk to you next time.